Welcome, dear ones, to the energies of January 2024. It's time for action. It is action time in January. This year will be, as we already um, have a sense of, will be a tumultuous year. And that's okay, because we want change. And we're actively required to take part in the change and to focus on what we want to create. Now, January is not a time for just sitting around. That's my the general feeling I have, which means if you, now this is, as always, the energies I perceive and the themes that I perceive, they, mm, they concern a lot of people in their individual lives, but also the collective. So for you in your individual, in your private life, in your personal life, this could mean that if you have been thinking about a project you wanted to start or a change in your career or any kind of change or something you wanted to do and you have had a phase of contemplation or maybe a long, long time, maybe years of stagnation, of, of thinking about things but not actually moving into the action mode, this month is for the action mode. No matter whether or not it feels like the right time, we are required, if we want to use the energies that are there, we need to make this action time. We need to take steps into the direction we want to move into. It doesn't mean get it all completed now, like do this big thing that you've always wanted to do now during this month. No, no. It means that whatever you have had in the pipeline, let's say, bring it out one step at a time. Move forward one step at a time into that direction. And also on a global scale, what I sense very strongly now is it's action time. This means we will see a lot of action. Now, Many people wonder or ask about this threat of um, a nuclear war that is looming over us. It feels like um, it's kind of hanging there and people are wondering about it. What I can share with you from my perception is that the timeline we're on now, it's not a possibility. It's not an option. It's not going to happen. And one reason as well why this is not going to happen is because Earth is already, the vibration of Earth and the consciousness of Earth has already risen. So that's also one reason why that option is out of the picture. Now, nothing is set in stone, right? We're aware of that. But from what I perceive now from the timelines, timelines that are available and from the most probable ones, there is no um, nuclear war happening, okay? So this means, though, that all the other forms of war and fighting and mm, displaying power and control over others, we will see those. We will see those. But if you've watched my other video on the general 2024 predictions and energies, you will also have heard, I'm going to link this in the description below or in the, the information card here, you will also have heard and you know now that it is so important that old things do come up so that we can actually look at them and then as humanity, as humans, can decide whether or not we want to continue with them. And the result of whatever is coming up will be that we will make the decision we don't want to continue with old ways. Now, yes, old ways die slowly and people are slow to change things, but it happens already. It's not like we need to make something happen and we haven't started it. We have already started the changes years ago, 
actually. So the changes have begun and they are going to continue. Now for January, let's stay with this month. Like I said, for you personally, if you've had stuff in the pipeline or wondered about changes, <clears throat> this is a good month to <clears throat> move into those changes and to take steps, like actively take steps, not just ponder, not just write some, something down, do it, okay? Take baby steps if you must, but do it. And on a global scale, we are going to see a lot of action, a lot of negative action, but also we will start to become active in positive ways. That is something else that I perceive very strongly. And I also invite you to um, take the, the healing vibes, the peaceful vibes that are available during this month, let's say cosmically, if you wanted to use them consciously, you could during the next few weeks. If you feel like there are aspects within you that could do with healing, whether it's on a psychological level, on an emotional level, on a physical level, there are healing energies available. And if you ask, well, how do I use them? It can be very simple. It's like really working with energy and working with consciousness. It's not complicated because it's our nature. It's actually who and what we are. So your internal guidance will give you the answer to how you could particularly work with these healing energies. One suggestion I have is that you visualize blue light, like gentle blue light, coming from the cosmos or the universe or source, whichever you want to call it, and allow it to flow through you and fill your whole body and your spirit and your soul and your mind and your emotional, emotional body. Fill everything with this blue healing light in a visualization. And it doesn't have to be for an hour. It can be very simple, very gentle and the more you do it, if you repeat it again and again and again, the more you invite these frequencies and healing powers in. And then you just allow the healing to take place. There's nothing else you have to do. There's nothing you have to make happen. Just allow it to happen. Okay. And now also in January, what I perceive going on on a global scale is there will be, and I see two, there will be Two surprises. I perceive the number two, right? Maybe it's one, maybe it's three, but I perceive two. There will be two surprising incidences where the world will go, huh, didn't expect that coming. <laughs> okay, right? So be prepared for that. At the same time, when these come up now, if you ask, well, is it something to be jolly about or is it something to be afraid of or concerned about? It's, it is, to me, it feels like it contains a message. And again, this message that's contained within these events it's an invitation to act, to change something, to do something different. So obviously, often when we're invited to make changes, what has come before is something we want to change. So we don't want to continue this. So this leads to the conclusion that that surprise will not be something that we will be particularly happy about. But the result is something we will be happy about if we take action, if we create changes from that. Now, the changes may not happen in January. They may happen this year or in the next two or three years. And I'm curious myself to see what this is, but they will be incidences where we will go, oh, okay, we didn't expect that. Because a lot of things that we're seeing right now, they're kind of, okay, then this on top of this, this on top of this. So some of the stuff is expected or is to be expected, right? But that's not, like, there is... There are surprises happening during this month and then it's up to us how we respond. And that also doesn't just mean look to the politicians how they respond, look to the people in power how they respond, look to the financial sector how it responds. Also look 
to yourself. How do you respond? And lead by example, because all of this change, this shift in humanity that's happening right now, the shift on the planet that is happening right now, is only happening if and when we make the changes inside, when we grow up, when we become conscious, when we wake up. Otherwise, it can't happen. So don't look for the outside to change. Create the change within you. Be the new version of humans, humanity, and allow this to flow out into the collective consciousness. So see how you react to what you see in the outside world, for example, or what's going on within your life and inside. And then choose new ways to view things, choose new perspectives, just the way you would like the outside world, other humans, to do that. Display it first. Be a leader by example. And if you say, but no one sees what's going on inside of me because I might live alone and I don't have much interaction, so how will this influence anyone out there? It will because all is one. And in consciousness, we're all connected. And each and every human creates the collective human consciousness. The collective consciousness of humanity contains every single consciousness of every single human. So you're one of them. And let's say if only the people who watch this video now, and by that I invite you also to share it <laughs> lots and lots and lots of times, but if only these people decided to take on board the invitation to become the new human now and display the, the, the characteristics of the new human, the consciousness of the new human, the, the heart of the new human, only those ones right, that will create an impact on the collective consciousness. Because that is also not the only time this message is being conveyed and spoken of. So there are many, many ways people right now are receiving this same message from the higher consciousness, from their higher selves, the invitation to become more, to step out of the old human consciousness, to move from, from 3D to 5D, fifth dimensional consciousness, which is unity, love, wisdom, freedom. That's all in there. So we're being invited and asked to step into that. And not just with me talking to you right now and us receiving this together because I'm also receiving this. It's, it's not just that I'm passing it on to you. It's the same as requested from me. And I hear this guidance. I hear this call and I'm being reminded, live it. Live what you want to experience. Live what you want to see in the world. Be the change you want to see. And let's do it. Let's do this. Because that's how change will happen. So let's notice how you react to whatever is going on in your life or outside in the collective and then respond the way you would think a more evolved being, a more conscious being would respond and react. And then do that. But that also means we have to be aware we have to become very mindful of what's going on within us, within ourselves. So our emotions, our thoughts, they have to be seen. They have to be recognized and acknowledged, not pushed under the carpet so that only positive things can be there, but that everything that's there can be seen and recognize as, oh, that's what's in the consciousness right now. Is this what I want to live and feel and think? Or is it old stuff and I'm ready to grow out of it? I'm ready to move beyond it. And coming back to January, that's the time to start this as well. Like become serious 
about wanting to see change in the world. And how do you do that? By you becoming different and changed. You change you and you change the world. You've heard this before. And this is the only way we change things. So let's look at everything from that lens. What's the lesson in it for me? How do I need to change so I can actually display the behaviors and the consciousness that I want to see? And if we do that, and if everyone who watches this video now and who hears this message from other sources, if we all do this, we are making a difference and we are changing the consciousness on the planet. We are doing it already. Every conversation we are having is in such a high frequency state. Those consciousness or those conversations weren't possible. Did they, they rarely happened, let's say, 30 years ago. That already shows us times have changed and we are making the difference. So go forward with that now for the next couple of weeks. Enjoy January and yeah, maybe remind yourself that you are brave, you are courageous and you can take the first steps or the next steps in action, with action, into the direction you want to. I'm going to love you and leave you for today and we'll talk again next time, if you want to.